One more minutes to go, guys. Come on, guys, let's go. At the last minute, I know the sauce is done, but I'm adding a little more chili powder. Probably needs just a little more cook time. But I want to have enough time to strain the sauce and put it into the gravy boat. Guys, you have 30 seconds to go. Let's go, guys. The liquid is actually not evaporating fast enough. I am definitely worried. Time's running out. The only way that I know how to fix the sauce is to sift it through the kitchen towel. Guys, your last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, two one. one. The challenge is over. That felt like a mad rush. We've been so used to cooking for two and a half hours, and then all of a sudden, we had to cook in 15 minutes. I think that definitely threw us off. I didn't have enough time to pour it into the serving jug, so I probably have to serve it in the bowl. I wish I had another 30 seconds to strain the sauce, because I didn't want to keep the onions and the tomatoes in it. But you know, hopefully the, the taste is good, and the judges see that. Guys, your challenge today was to cook that beautiful sauce that would match with Chef Seuss's medium rare steak. The first sauce we'd like to taste belongs to Priya. The sauce I've made is inspired by a korma from India. Since this is red meat, I thought the sauce would go well with it. So my only request is when you serve it is to just use a spoon because it's got a couple of the spices in and it won't taste nice when eating. Beautiful steak, Susa. It's perfectly medium rare. So we are looking for a perfect sauce right now. Wonderful. Mm. Mm. You can eat with the onions and everything. Oh my God, yeah. This might be the best thing you've cooked in the competition so far. Don't strain sauces. It's all those chunky bits just complement the meat so well. And the spiciness is not just spicy, but it kind of lingers in your mouth and it kind of builds the heat yeah. and it makes the steak very succulent. Thank you, Priya. Thank you. I think this is validation that uh, the judges now are beginning to see what kind of cook I really am. I think they finally begin to realize that, you know, I have a right to be here and a right to be in the top five. The next sauce we'd love to taste is Young's. Whoa, beautiful. The sauce is based off a classic uh, Hollandaise sauce. There's miso and star anise. All right, let's go, guys. Here you're using a very modern technique, which is great, but you take away the punch and the kick of the sauce. So for the flavor, not really. All right. Your egg yolk need to be cooked a little bit more before you put in the siphon. That's why it's causing this watery running. Right now, it's just an idea, but it did not succeed a great hollandaise. Thank you, Leon. Yeah. I just wish I hadn't used that word hollandaise in the first place. What I wanted was just that subtle nuance of vinegar and let the miso come through, but ultimately the steak must be the flavour that you taste at the end. The next sauce we would like to test is Marcus, please. Bacon and red wine jus with lots of mushrooms in it as well to help complement the beef. This is really, really too watery. And your flavor just bacon, very strong, smoky flavor. Reduction is about deepness. It means time. 15 minutes today, I don't think you'd achieve that today. I think it's important to really think quite clearly, given the time, can I achieve it? If I can't, don't do it.
The next sauce we would like to test would be half, please. Miso and apricot jam and lemon juice. And I have wasabi cream to pair with it and some fresh oregano. Very nice, no? Cheers. I can do the bang. Oh, I'll do it. I can do the bang. And the... Oh. oh. Wow. Beautiful cooking. Jammy, slight kick of the wasabi. I love it. Thank you. Your technique of making these braised shallots with 15 minutes, I'm so impressed. It tastes like it has been stewed for an hour. That's I agree. Right. And I agree. it's so intense. It's beautiful. Love it. Cut her a bit of steak. Let her try it. So we have to serve you now. Yes. Uh, you because it's so this. good. Thank you. Wow. How's the steak? That's the most important part, too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Thank you, Ha. Thank you, Chef. So Bruno loves my sauce. Audra loves my sauce as well. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just enjoying this moment right now. The next sauce we would like to taste is just beer. When I walk up with the bowl and the kitchen towel, it's the most embarrassing feeling ever. That is not how I want to present my food. It's the lowest I've ever felt. It's really rustic. I use the lemon zest, shallots, mustard seeds, black pepper, and lemongrass to get that sauce. What happened? I added some cream to thicken it and the cream split. Right. So the quickest way to get the cream out was to put tissue underneath and pour the sauce over. And I didn't have enough time to pour it into the sauce bowl. You know, the watery content, it doesn't make my steak more succulent. And this is a broth, not a sauce. You didn't need the cream. Cream would have probably just really made it quite heavy. 